Good evening, we're back with more Marvel Snap. Beginning the evening at rank 101 and 1 cube. And we'll be playing a Lockjaw Gamble deck tonight. These types of decks are fun. I saw this one posted on Reddit. Swapped out Green Goblin for Scorpion because I don't have Green Goblin. But this the poster said that this deck got him to infinite. So we'll try it out and see if it has the, seems like it has the potential to climb. Should I wait on the sunspot for Lockjaw? I don't think so. It's too much power I'd be leaving on the table. And now I have Swordmaster to play with Lockjaw, so that's good. Unless it discards the Hella, which it will. Interesting. So let's go start the casino. Odin, okay, not Hella, that's good. That's interesting. I would say I probably just won. I can just, let's play Jubilee here. Oh, he's going to destroy his board. What? I don't know what's going on. That works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Casino got him. Probably sacrifice Jubilee to Vormir. Never mind. Hopefully not Hella. That's actually pretty good. That's not so good. No, well, my opponent didn't have anything either. So let's go Hobgoblin. I have no objection to that, although my opponent has discarded Infinite and I wasn't paying attention to see the other card. It's just going to come down to random luck. So, let's gamble. I am ahead to start. I think my opponent discarded stronger cards on average. I know I have the Doom. That's pretty consistent power. I'm in decent shape. I am Iron Man. Great. Victory.
I do have Captain Marvel, and I wonder if that would be good instead of Scorpion in this deck. I think I'll try it after this game. Scorpion just gives me something to do with turn two if I don't have Sunspot. Grand Central is likely to be pretty good for me. Not Hella, please. I actually hope that my cards at Hala get taken out. Okay. That's silly. Now I hope that it's infinite. But let's go ahead and play Swordmaster. Need a one and three here. Or a two and three. Okay, Hell is the one that goes. Sad. I at least got infinite there. Oh, glad I still lose the lane. The only way I can really win is well, I, no, I have no path to win here. There's no way. interesting played a couple of games with this deck off video and it was all against discard mirror matches I swear the matchmaking looks for mirror matches Alright, let's try swapping out Scorpion for Captain Marvel. a bot? Why would he do that? These aren't very powerful cards, so I'll play Swordmaster here. Okay. Captain Marvel. You can go Spider-Man Hobgoblin to win one lane. Then how do I win the other one? Hella into Captain Marvel? Seems decent.
<laughs> okay. Well, take us home, Ella Captain Marvel. What are my other options? Doctor Doom, which adds five to Daily Bugle, five to Murder World. Hella has the potential to add twelve to Daily Bugle, which is where I really need the power. So we'll go with this. Okay, no problem. I think I will save Sunspot for Lockjaw. Now that I've swapped out Scorpion, pretty much every card I could pull from Lockjaw I would want. Next turn, Gambit Sunspot. Hopefully I don't discard Hella. As always. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's great. So they were in pretty good shape at the vault. Don't have anything to play here, though. Okay, that's pretty good for him. Well, I think I just play Dr. Doom. Actually, I could play Infinite here. That seems good. <laughs> Wasn't even thinking about that when I had to skip turn five. Now it seems, yeah, let's do that. Great. Probably should have snapped, I guess. I think my opponent would have called there. So far this deck is playing pretty well. I do like the addition of Captain Marvel. I think it's better than Green Goblin. Just feels bad when you discard Hella. Oh. That feels bad too. If my opponent snapped here, I would concede. I don't mind that at all. If I draw Hella. Maybe I pull Hella from the deck here. It's one and five. Okay, Odin pulls something else. Not bad at all. And there's
there's a one in two chance that I draw Hella and win. There goes his Hella. And there's mine. Does he call a snap here? Nope. I don't think he would have gone to showdown either. Which is why I snapped. If he was going to call for two cubes, he would have called for four, I think. This deck is fun. Discard Ella here. Wind. Don't really want to discard Jubilee either. Well, nope, there goes Ella. So I think the path to win here is Jubilee into something that wins flooding and then skip turn five and play infinite. Looks like a surfer deck. That's not bad. Skip turn five, infinite, I think is the play. My opponent's likely to play Silver Surfer, I'd guess. I have initiative though, so I actually think Magneto wins here. It really depends. It's it's gambly because if I pull Ironheart and Storm, then I don't win. But if I pull Wong and something, okay. Ooh, he still gets a little bit. Is that enough to win? No, not enough. Tell us the one, so that's good. It's a good sign. Usually, these types of decks can't handle losing Hella. his board a little bit. Let's see what Jubilee brings. That's just great. That's fine. I 
I don't think I need Gambit here. Be a 1 and 2 to discard the wrong thing. Hella Doctor Doom combined with Captain Marvel gives me a lot of versatility. Actually, think I need either of those. So I'll move Sunspot over. This leaves room in case Doctor Doom goes to New York. Well, I'll leave everything else as is. We'll rely on Doctor Doom and Captain Marvel to go where they're needed. See Nascorp Tower a lot. anything to play there right now and I'm not sure that I'll actually draw anything so maybe I shouldn't have played Lockjaw at all. I don't really want to drop Captain Marvel there, I don't really want to drop Odin there. Doctor Doom I could drop there. I'll do that next round. Hopefully pull into that. Is my opponent going to play Cosmo? Why is he snapping? Or I could just play Doom and then Odin on the Doom site. Add a lot of power to the lanes. And rely on Captain Marvel to do the rest. Though she wouldn't be able to fly to Elysium. Oh, I'm very sad to see Infinite come out. I was hoping I could draw into him. My opponent have double Dark Hawk? I haven't seen any Dark Hawk cards yet. Okay, sure. Friendly neighborhood Spider Man here. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, well, if I play Magneto, my opponent probably fills his side of the board. 
He has four cards in hand, so I can't pull things away to win. Let's back up. Now, it's a casino deck. Sometimes that's going to happen. Wish my opponent luck grinding up with the double Spider-Man plays. I tried that myself and didn't like it because the wins are always one or two cubes and so I actually prefer I don't really like the Spider-Man Absorbing Man or Spider-Man Spider-Man. I think I will try to take out the Quinjet. It's typically a pretty important card. Oh, or I could get Lockjaw. Or Thanos. Sure. If I don't discard Hella here, I'll be in decent shape. Okay, so Hella right now is pulling Infinite and Doctor Doom. I think Hobgoblin's better than Jubilee here. Let's see, what's in my deck? Four cards. I've got Sunspot, Lockjaw, Odin, and... Captain Marvel. Two of those would be good from Jubilee. Two of those not. So I'll, rather than gamble any more than I already am, I'll play Hobgoblin here. Let's casino it up. Down by 12 at Atlantis, 12 at Collapsed Mine. Not where I needed Infinite to go. If Infinite went to either of the other locations, I win. So I had a two out of three chance to win there. But Infinite went to the wrong place. In the long run, though, I'm happy with that play. Got my money in good. And though my opponent won, if I were him, I would not look on my play as good because he had to get lucky to win. Though most players don't think of it that way. As long as they win, they think the play was good. Go for the Jubilee here. I don't know if I want to go for a Hella play. I'd have to Gambit here. Mm. It is decent if I don't discard Hella. If I do, I guess I just run away. 
Let's try it. This turn we'll play Jubilee. Could grab Odin, which would be great. Could grab Doctor Doom, could grab Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Polaris helps me out, at least with winning that lane. I'm just gonna pass and play Infinite. does not like that. If I had a way to silence Hobgoblin, it would be very good at Bar with No Name. <laughs> Strange Academy with Bar with No Name is funny. Bad luck for my opponent. Batman's a pretty generic name, but I have played this opponent before, so I know they're not a bot. Let's see if I can take out these Zabu. Swordmaster wasn't the card I wanted to discard. Sunspot was a was not what I wanted to pull. All right, we'll play the gambit here. Maybe my opponent plays Dark Hawk and I get to take it out. He's not going to want to fill Monster Metropolis, though. That's interesting that he's willing to risk that. That's not great. 50-50 chance there. So, I have no chance to win. If Odin went to Strange Academy, I'd have a pretty good chance to win. I mean, I could play Doctor Doom to bar with no name, but my opponent can get more than five power to Strange Academy. He's got four cards in hand. These things happen. wonder what he was thinking about so much there. I 
Uh, Want to kill the sunspot? Sure. Discarded the right card. Now I will play Lockjaw. Looks like Mr. Negative. Sunspot, Captain Marvel. Okay. Hell is early, but still quite effective. Now I can go Jubilee again. Or is this a Galactus deck? He doesn't have a way to play it. Okay. If it's Galactus, he loses. Does he have Null, maybe? No. Null could only win one lane. I think there's another spot where if he would have called for two, he would have called for four. But he wasn't ever going to call for either because it was a Galactus stuck that didn't work right. Gambit doesn't kill anything, but it'll discard a card. Don't want to discard Jubilee. So I do. See if I can get Hella. Draw Hella from the deck, I mean. That's fine. There she is. Just gonna play Captain Marvel here. Captain Marvel will win Rickety Bridge. Which means Hella just has to win one other lane. I'm facing Sarah Zabu. I'm gonna play Magneto. Or wait. No, Magneto was discarded. I hope that Magneto goes to Rickety Bridge. Because then he'll pull a bunch of my opponent's cards there and they'll all die. And then Captain Marvel can win the location at the end. I'm going to snap. I know my opponent's going to play a ton of cards. He's only got three good spots though. And I have Captain Marvel for Rickety Bridge. If that works how I expect it will. Okay. Well, that was not as expect <laughs> that was not as effective as I was hoping. That was nowhere close to as effective as I was hoping. Good try, Captain Marvel. So I low rolled with the lockjaw. What else was in my deck? Oh, nothing was left in my deck. So I should have known what was going to pull from Jubilee with lockjaw. That was just my own inexper inexperience. 
And there was a lot of random chance there with Magneto. So what did I pull with Magneto? Or if Magneto had gone somewhere else, would I have won? If Magneto had gone to Asgard, would I have won? I think so. I don't know if my play was any good there or not. That may have been pretty bad. Hard to say with a casino deck. There were paths for me to win. Was I better than 50% to win? If I was, then I was right to snap. If I wasn't, then I wasn't. And I'm really not sure. That math is complex. Gambit and try to take out the monster. Or Zabu. Right. Swordmaster was not the card I wanted to discard. Very good at negative zone. I think I'm in good shape here. Captain Marvel, Doctor Doom provide a lot of pressure everywhere. That doesn't matter. Alternately, I could Odin to re-trigger Jubilee. What's in my deck still? Hela is still in my deck, but the only card I discarded was Swordmaster. And Infinite is still in my deck, but I don't really need the extra power at negative zone. Let's just go Dr. Doom. See what happens. Okay. Seems like a good place to stop the video. Overall, I gained 10 cubes. I'm really not sure how my play was. There's going to be a lot of percentages involved with this casino deck. If you're 51% likely to win, then you should get the cubes in the middle and trust that over time you will climb. But there's going to be a lot of swings. Deck is going to be very swingy. Not for players, I would say, who are prone to tilting. But it's a lot of fun to play. I enjoyed it, and I'll play it again. So, thank you for watching.